Hey guys, DMike here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker HD. Last time we explored around Outset Island, we were able to run into Miss Tetra and save her from the crazy bird. And we're going to do a little bit of cleanup on Outset Island before we set sail with Tetra and the pirates. So let's go ahead and get started. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Let's get some, uh, let's get some more participation going, some more enthusiasm for this one. This is a fun game, and... I'm gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Mario always does well, but let's make sure that this gets its fair love and support as well. If you can, like the video, comment on it, subscribe, all the things. So one of the things that you should do before you leave Outset Island is gather some rupees. There's some opportunities to do so around the area, and we're gonna do that today. Like I mentioned before, in Wind Waker HD, you have a wallet that lets you hold up to 500 rupees. So we're going to definitely take advantage of that today and gather as many as possible. Also, I love the, <laughs> I love the, the, uh, whatever you want to call that, crawling animation. I don't know why I struggle with that. But, uh, here's the biggest get of the day. If you crawl under grandma's house, you can steal her life savings for our journey. Stealing from the elderly is cool if you're a child in a whimsical world. All right, so we're gonna head back out. We're gonna continue along. There's a couple little like sort of side quests we can do to get ourselves some extra cash. And I'll show you that here in a moment. We don't need the sword. Um. I don't know if I can reach that. How do I get there? I don't remember. I think this is this involves, I think, getting on top of the house. I don't know if I if I'm capable of that. I think so. Is there a ladder? Oh, there's there's rupees and pots. We love some good pot. Alright, and it looks like there's a rupee back here. Hiding in the foliage. Boop! Thank you for that. Yeah, gather as many rupees as you can now. Um, you're gonna need quite a few eventually in some of the later locations. Here is, uh, I don't need to crawl, what am I doing? But, uh, here is one of the side quests. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hello? Oh, I'm going! We actually need to sneak up on pigs. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Mr. Ham! Am I gonna grab you? Okay, great. We're doing great. There we go. Ooh, that's a horrible sound. But, trust me, it's for the greater good. This woman right here. I think it's a woman. Um, bit of an oinker herself. Er, I mean, she's looking to get her pigs back. So we're gonna help her out. She's missing three of them. And could use our assistance. So the good boy that Link is, of course, volunteers to wrestle up some some pork. I believe there is another one here. This is going to be a bit of a trial because I'm stupid and I don't know how to do this correctly. Okay, great. If you kind of like pin them in. There you go. Oh, yeah, and I got nowhere to go. I say that and I completely whiff on it. Got nowhere to go! Not even close. Come on. I'm getting the prompt to pick it up, but it's just not, uh... Get stuck on the geometry! Physics, help me! Alright, let's just chase it up here. Nope, wrong way. Come on. Ya goof! Don't you dare. Don't you dare! You have one life to- Oh my gosh! It's a suicidal pig. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. More absolutely, like, hideous squealing. I like that the moment it's picked up, it just goes completely lifeless. Okay. Oops! <laughs> of course I did. I wasn't in planning to interact with her until I was done, but that's okay. Oh, these are not her pigs. 
but our reward per pig is uh 20 root something happened what do you mean um we're a hero now is that what you're noticing okay that's two pigs down what a fun episode enjoy this though this is the early going of the game where things are a little bit more peaceful relaxed nonchalant things are gonna ramp up real quick so don't take this for granted the early goings of any game before it starts to get a little wild are always enjoyable well, look at us we are already flush with cash 177 rupees is pretty darn good for a small boy like link here is that a pig or is that a rock i can't tell that's a rock okay no one said I had good vision, that's for sure. Does this turn into anything? There's money inside. Where's that final pig at? There's another rupee under here. Of course we're gonna crawl for one... piece of cake. Ooh, wait, is that it? There's a pig hanging back there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna call this one Spot. Do you wanna know how I got that idea? All right. Ugh. Yeah, the... The problem with trying to pick these pigs up, of course, is that uh, the pickup button and the roll button are the, uh, how do you say, the same thing. Yep. Okay. Can you stop, please? I'm trying to be super chill, and you are being not chill. Stop. I just want a ham sandwich. These pigs are... Ugh, stop it. I'm not drowning for lunch meat. Oh, there's a moment. Okay. So use that to your advantage, I guess. Anytime the pigs are trying to dry off a little bit, you can capture them. So far, so good. We are definitely going to stay away from that little rascal and return the final pig. I shouldn't say return, because these are clearly not her animals. But she wants them, so... All right, lady, cough it up. Oh, they even have, uh... even have text for when you bring two. A little pig party, oh yeah. So hard on your birthday. I can't believe I'm wrestling up pigs on my birthday. Cutie poos. What are you gonna call those cutie boos? I don't know what this house is. Can I go in here? I never really spent a ton of time exploring outset, but I should have. Is there anything in here that's of value that we can uh, look at? Uh, steel? Okay. Pretty innocuous. Just a little world building. I do love the inside the house theme. It's one of my favorites in these games. Okay, so that was nothing. The old nothing burger. Wee. Okay, so as far as I know, I think this basically kind of concludes that part. Although I have to feel like there's gotta be some, I mean, I think there's a couple other options of things where I can, um, Get money. Can I talk to you? I like your, your little chin strap. Oh, look at this. This boy's all up in our business. Um, what's that supposed to mean? You don't trust us? This guy has no faith in, in Link and his abilities. The disrespect. All right. So we've got a guy over here tending to his lawn by hand. No lawn mowers in Hyrule. Yeah. Sir, could you use some help? What do you think? You bet. Okay, how about it? What about a little, uh, a little gardening? You can do a pretty good swath of it when you do the spin attack. It's not really that big of a deal anyway. I don't know if this gets you rupees or not, but it is very cathartic. Kind of makes me think back to uh, my days playing Animal Crossing, right? Going through and tending to the island or the village or wherever you were, depending upon which game you're playing, and making sure that 
You got rid of all the weeds, you could get that perfect rating. Oh yeah, this feels good. I'm doing this a very haphazardly way, so don't judge me or judge me. Whatever you're into, I will only take kindness and respect. I must stab him with that slash. Oops, sorry. Okay. Almost done. A little more. Is that it? Looks pretty good. No more grass for you. You sure can. Okay, great. So our payment was the our payment was apparently the rupees that we gathered along the way in the friendship of helping a stranger. That rupee respawns under there. I'm not going to get it because I don't care. But we'll check out this house and see if there's something inside. Worth checking out. Mm. Ooh, you see that, viewers? Make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Do a little crawling. Crawling in my skin. All right, go ahead and rob our uh, our neighbors here. Why not? Hooray! This is basically money that they've been saving for eternity to escape, you know, simple island living. And then Link's like, you know what? I'm going on an adventure. I'm going to need that allowance right now. Pay up. I owe you. You owe me. All right. We have 250 dollarinos, which we're going to spend some right now. You can see that little boat over there next to the big boat. Can introduce one of the best characters in this game. Made multiple appearances in later Zeldas, and if you don't like this, then you can get out. Okay. So this, my friends, if you come over here, Look at this majestic vessel. Oh yeah, and right on the side, his visage. Let's go ahead and take a dip inside. This is Beetle, everybody's favorite. Listen to him. Oh yeah. I might make that sound on a regular basis. So don't judge me. So here we go. We're actually going to need to use our money right now to buy one of everything, at least. So first off is the bait bag. Love a nice good sack. It's got a piggy face on it. This is actually a pretty required item for collectibles throughout the game. Thank you! Very nice. Gonna make you a member's card, all right, so we can build up some points. I love member cards, I love points, rewards, anything. I'm all about it. So that gives us one point. Very cool. If we buy 30 things, you get a silver membership. I don't know if I've ever actually done that. The next thing, this is important. You are going to want at least one of these. I don't know how many of these you can buy in a row. But this is a hoy pair. We're going to need this eventually for some sort of side quests. I think you can only buy one of them at a time. Oh, there's another one. All right, so I'm actually gonna buy two. Um, there are multiple moments that you're gonna want to have these pairs. And then we're gonna buy some bait. Very cool. We're gonna need all of these items eventually. You'll understand in time, viewers. Don't, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll keep you posted. We're gonna buy one more of those. It's just kind of nice to do it in advance now. It's not required, but this will just save you some time in the future. Thanks, Beetle. We respect you and your entrepreneurship on your Beetle selling ship. All right. So we're just about ready to head out on a pirate adventure with our friends, but first, we're gonna go talk to Grandma and let her know what's up. Can't leave her hanging. Tetra did remind us that you can't go alone. You need to play a little bit of defense. Here's our chance. Oh, Grandma. I'm sorry. She only knew. Hmm. 
I think this is our final opportunity where we can uh, finally claim the family heirloom that I tried to do twice. Oh, well, where is it? Oh, someone stole it? How dare they? They're dead to me. Grandma, are you, are you okay? Oh, she's so sad. Can I, can I have it? Oh, she seems so sweet. This is probably a melancholy moment for grandma, but she knows. Someday, all 10 year old children need to leave their homes to hang out with pirates. So you gotta do what you gotta do with the legendary hero shield. <laughs> That's a little, uh, little meta that they put that in there, a little fourth wall breaking like that. I know, a giant bird, in fact. This is all Tetra's fault. I'm sorry, Grandma, but don't worry. We'll get Errol back. I know. This is also another one of the best songs in the game. We'll save her, of course. That's what the Hero of Time does. Now that we've basically wrapped up everything that's reasonable to do, head back down here to our pirate friends. Let's get this journey started. Um, excuse me. This is the shield used by the hero. Yeah, of course I am. Maybe a little bit of uh, respect would be cool. You have to have the set sail gong, of course. Time to sing your favorite sea shanties. Put on your pirate hat. Lace up your breeches. Put your arm around your favorite wench. Err. Oh, thanks, everybody. Everybody's so hopeful about the fact that, you know, one of their own in the island has been kidnapped. And they're just kind of chill about it. Look, oh, hey, good luck, small boy. Rescuing your sister, that's clearly uh, in a place that you have no idea. Oh, there's Grandma. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll be back. <laughs> this game is very self-aware. I enjoy that. Man, Tetra's got quite the mouth on her. We're about to leave our home for the first time. How dare you. Stop trying to deprive us of our emotions. Some toxic masculinity, Tetra, quit. Obviously, she's trying to bully Link. Can't have him getting sentimental out on a pirate journey. You wouldn't want that. Okay, okay. Apparently, we need to go and talk to Nico below deck. Maybe he's got a special mission for us. How about that? Let's go see what he has to say. Maybe it's candy? Are you Nico? Um. Oh! Miss Tetris cabin. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Everybody's so protective here. Are you Nico? Swappy. Okay. This is first mate Nico. We have to do a test that all the pirates do. Okay. He's gonna give us a little bit of an example here. If a quiz is quizzical, viewers, then a test is... Okay. Hit the switch. Thank you for the tutorial on probably one of the most difficult puzzles in the game. So we have to do a little bit of platforming here. I love the kind of heat effect they have above the torch on the side. That's a nice touch. So we're going to have to do a little bit of swanging. You're going to be jumping from platform to platform using these ropes to give you enough momentum to make it from space to space. 
Viewers, can we do it? We gotta be quick. This is a briefly timed puzzle. But I think we can muster up the courage to do it. True. One year in a boat. That's a, uh... That's quite the, um... Time? I don't know what I was going for there. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, so you're gonna want to line yourself up with these... Lanterns that are on these ropes here, and then swing from position to position. This is to essentially tutorialize you for what you're going to be doing in the next area. A little bit of Ninja Warrior course to start your day. How about that, Nico? We did it 365 days faster than you. He doesn't chastise us. He's proud. He's happy with our accomplishments. Yeah, give us it. What's the reward? I doubt I'll get busted. Okay. I'll tell you what, you can have the... Ooh, treasure. I do love treasure. He's like, I'm just gonna... Turn around and pretend I didn't see anything. Oh yeah. Here's our first big treasure of the game. It is in fact... The spoils bag. Alright. Also, I got the uh... The whatever pouch confused with this. Um, this is the thing that I was. <laughs> this is the thing that I was thinking of. So the spoils bag is where you uh, keep all of your goodies. The bait bag is just for bait, which certainly makes sense, doesn't it? All right. So let's jaunt across the incredibly intense puzzle we just did and head above deck here. Oops, excuse me. Tetra has called for us. Apparently we have made landfall at the Forsaken Fortress. Ooh, it's already nighttime. Spooky. Look at that, viewers. Whoa, so forsaken. Why have you forsaken me? All right. Yep. Tetra's up on the poop deck. Actually, I think that's probably the crow's nest. Nico. Tell her... Oh, you're not Nico. Whatever, you look like that. Why are you speaking like that? Everybody seems a little uncomfortable right now. Did someone toot? Alright. Let's climb all the way up here. We're used to this. Climbing the lookout tower on the island. Alright. Alright. Uh, nothing. No. Okay, we have made it. The Forsaken Fortress. It's here after all. This is where... Errol just might be. Ooh, there's that bird. This must be the government headquarters. It is pretty dangerous. We'll need to be on our guard. Yeah? What could you possibly see from over here? Uh, yeah, have you ever been to a McDonald's parking lot by any body of water? So this is all just assumptions. Petra is very convinced that uh, those seagulls are the key to victory here. But she doesn't think that we can get any closer. So we're going to have to think of another way to get onto the island. Uh-oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, boy. Well, I guess... Uh, We're going to have to catapult into this adventure. Those are some good sounds. I'm going to take a moment and just let you listen to this. A little ASMR. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Bombs away. <laughs> that face. Clench them cheeks, Link. See ya. Bye. 
This actually uh, wasn't them trying to get Link on the island. They just really love launching children from catapults. Uh-oh. Looks like we lost our goodies. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, boy. Well, that's the end of the story. Link is now officially dead. Oh, I guess he can swim. He is from an island, after all. All right. So now that we've somehow infiltrated the Forsaken Fortress, we'll be able to sneak our way inside next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD and Forsaken Fortress and Link. Gonna get their groove on in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.